Michael in Devon, United Kingdom writes to me, I have a pair of name SBL loudspeakers and they are a two-way speaker. And as you know, that means they have one driver for the high frequencies called a tweeter and one for the mid-range, the base mid-range frequencies called a woofer. Is it more difficult to make a good two-way loudspeaker than it is a good three-way loudspeaker? It must be more difficult for one driver to produce the bass and mid-range frequencies at the same time. Well, yes, I don't know about difficult, but it is sonically more challenging, if you will. Let's take uh, an even simpler example, a coaxial speaker, well, no, a single driver speaker. So j just to clear up, I was thinking of like our little kefs at home the LS50s. It's a coaxial driver, which means it has a woofer and right in the middle, which is a great place for it, is a, is a tweeter. So that's still a two-way system. Now what I was thinking in terms of there are unit drivers, one, one woofer that does everything. It does the high frequencies, it does the low frequencies, and while there's advantages to them because essentially there's no crossover, as in life, everything's a trade-off. So as that woofer is moving in and out with bass, it's also moving like this, and you get what's called Doppler. And depending on how they've worked it out, can be good or not so good. I'm, I'm not a big fan. So then what we do is we start separating out the frequencies. Now we're gonna go to a two-way. We take the tweeter and we take the woofer. Well, that's better than a single speaker trying to do everything, in my opinion. And when you go to a three-way, it's even better. And there's less that you're trying to force the products to do. So let's take the two-way, for example. Think of the challenge for that. Either the woofer has to go up fairly high to meet the tweeter, or the tweeter has to go fairly low to meet the woofer. And each one is a challenge. So some tweeters aren't so great when they go down to say a kilohertz. And most woofers aren't so great going up to a kilohertz. So if your tweeter isn't very good down to a kilohertz, that means you're gonna roll it off at something higher. And that means the woofer then has to go even higher. And as it, it changes its directionality, it changes the kind of woofer you can use or should use, the crossover is more challenging. If you then put a third component, a mid-range driver, to bridge that gap between the tweeter, so now the tweeter doesn't have to go down that low. Tweeter can go to two or three kilohertz where it's very comfortable, and then the mid-range takes over from there, goes down maybe to 500 hertz, you know, 600 hertz, something low, when it's working well, and then the woofer takes over. Now, as I said before, everything's a trade-off, right? When you go to a three-way, the crossover to make that seamless so that you don't hear when they switch over, that's, that's the magic, that's the challenge. And as I watch Chris Brunhaber design these two-way, three-way, four-way systems, there's a hell of a lot of engineering skill and listening that goes into it. And Chris, Chris is amazing. But yeah, so harder to design, better sounding. Okay, I hope that helps. Great question. Thanks.